name is Jack Sip the Guy and I'm back! I'm back playing games, I'm back from tour, I'm back to play all the games I missed. Everything came out the day I left, which is super annoying. This and Cuphead both came out and I was so annoyed because I wanted to play them as soon as they came out, but here I am! A little late, but just as enthusiastic about it as I would have been. Um, I'm really excited about chapter 3 of this. Because, well, welcome back to Benny and the Ink Machine, I guess I should say. Did I actually say that already? I don't know. I'm all confused. It's been a while. But chapter 3, I'm really excited about this and I was going to leave it as a surprise because it would have been fun to find out, but now that the cat's out of the bag and I'm late to this, I'm in this! I'm in this chapter! They came to me a while ago after chapter 2 and asked if I wanted to do a voice for chapter 3 and I said, HELL YES! Of course I would! I love voice acting, I love Benny and Ink Machine, I love lots of things. So it made the most sense to do it, and I'm, I'm so appreciative of them for letting me do it, and people have been sending me like the clip and saying that they heard me in the game, which is really cool. So, I don't know where I am. I know who I am, I just don't know where I am in the game. So, we'll figure it out. So this is chapter three. Last time we, we met, um, was it Boris? Chapter three. Rise and fall. Okay, that's a cute clock. I want that clock. So, oh god, I need a refresher course now because I forget what happened at the end of chapter two. Was it chapter two that we ended where Boris came out and was like, Boris? Because we got away from the, the big bad. Might have been, look at that cute ass clock. Yes, cute, not creepy. Oh wait. Can I open this? No. Oh god, I thought that was somebody hanging there. It's just dungarees. I have no reflection. I am a vampire. <laughs> this is why you don't drink Guinness all day every day. You get the Guinness shits. An actual thing. Guinness makes you get diarrhea real quick. Okay, easy does it. You're not gonna come to life and attack me, are you? Hey, hey, Boris! Gorsh! Do you talk? b b boris Hello? Boris and Henry. Am I Henry? Are you just here? Okay. It's not- Oh, that's fucking cool. Oh, it's like a glitchy bendy. It's an anti-bendy. An anti. I meant to say anti, like ant D, but it just came out as anti, and now everyone's gonna freak out. Okay, <laughs> hey, I love drinking paint. I'm not getting out of here that easy. Pete opened the door, but the lever is missing. Boris probably has it. Yeah, Boris, you, you wanna fess it up? Talk to Boris. Okay, I can talk to him. Hey, B man! Hey, buddy, you seen that lever handle around? Or are you holding it hostage until I make you something to eat? I thought so. Let's see what we got. Ah, oh, that's why I'm collecting stuff. So he doesn't talk? Find three soup cans. Okay, I have two. Where's the third one gonna be? It's gonna be May! Soup can! Hello? It's also funny how this and Cuphead came out when I was away, and both of them share, like, a similar aesthetic. Maybe it's in here. That's locked, though! I can't go in there! Ah, no, I can open. Okay. Cool! Make Boris soup. Mmm! Smells good, right? What do you eat, Boris? Is this just ink soup? There you go. There you go! Boris is fucking weird! I appreciate it though! Thank you, B-Man! You helped me in a time when I needed it most. So to me, you're alright, Boris. But stay away from that Bendy, okay? He's... That Bendy's a weird one! So you don't go near him! Are you sure you want to leave the safe house? You cannot go back. Let's see what's out there. I mean... Wander off. Yeah. 
Gorge. Okay. What do we got here? Okay, I think you might be health, and now I'm wasting this. Delicious bacon soup! That does sound delicious. Bendy and little devil darling. Oh, Jesus Christ. Alright, so I don't like this! Looks like it's really dark up ahead. Let's find some light. Oh, badness! Oh god, Boris, Jesus Christ, you scared me! Don't do that! This place got up and got down with the inkness! We're in this together forever, Boris, okay? You're kinda of standing behind me all creepily, but don't worry, B-Man, I got you. What the fuck was that? Did you hear that? Yuck. Yeah, me either. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah, me either. I didn't hear the thing that I asked you if you heard. Oh, Bendy. Benderoo. Okay, apparently we we walk slow in darkness. That wasn't so bad. Dead end. I don't see any other way through. The vent. Boris has all the ideas! Boris is my dude! I can't follow him. Oh god, now I'm alone. B-Man? Oh, thank god. Oh no, Boris, I hope you're okay. I like you. What's up, Bender? Whoa. Wow. I don't remember any of this. The frickin' size of this Bendy! And this Boris, look how cute it is! I want one of them in my room. Imagine that, he was just sitting in the corner. Gigantic. Nine feet tall. Okay, I hope I'm not missing anything. Oh no! I hear singing. Is that the girl one? I forget what her name is. Don't forget to punch in! It could save your job. Can't do anything to that. Work hard, work happy. That is a fucking creepy poster. But man, do they ever nail the aesthetic of this game. Her, the the angelic voice one, whatever her name was. Why is there always something blocking the door? <laughs> gotta be a way through. Gotta be, gotta be a way through. Gotta be a way through without any sort of accidents or comeuppances or anything like that, right? Okay, can I not move these levers? Oh god, you're creepy. You could squeeze through there! At least you would if you weren't just eating bacon soup all the time. Okay, I have no idea what to do. I don't be seeing what the big deal is. So what if I went and painted some of those bendy dolls with a crooked smile? That's sure no reason for Mr. Drew to be flying off the handle at me. And if he really wants to be so helpful, he could be telling me what I'm to be doing with this warehouse I got full of that angel whatchamacallit. Not a scrap of that mess be selling. You probably have to melt it all down to be rid of it all. <laughs> it's me! We found me! I'm Mr. Sean Flynn in the game. I don't be seeing what the big deal is. I don't be seeing what the big deal is. So what if I went and painted some of those bendy dolls with a crooked smile? To be flying off the handle at me. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you guys again for asking me to be part of it. That was super fun. <laughs> it's just a small thing, but it means so much. Always on time. 
Fix the toy machine. Unclog the belt wheels. Okay. Toy stuck in all of them. Dag, nam it! I did it! I fixed the belt wheels! Okay. That didn't help immensely. Now it did. What is this little thing? Now it's Boris. Now it's the girl. And now it's. Now it's something different. It looks like an engine. Now it's bendy. I don't know. Okay, let's actually listen to this again and focus on what I'm saying, because I forgot what was in it. I don't be seeing what the big deal is. So what if I went and painted some of those bendy dolls with a crooked smile? But sure no reason for Mr. Drew to be flying off the handle at me. And if he really wants to be so helpful, he could be telling me what I'm to be doing with this warehouse I got full of that angel whatchamacallit. Not a scrap of that mess be selling. Probably have to melt it all down to be rid of it all. Yeah, so the girl doll's not selling. I don't be seeing what the big deal is. So what if I went and painted a crooked smile on a couple of those bendy dolls? Yeah, she's quite a girl. I probably, I'm probably the originator of all the bad crap that happened. Not really, but Alice Angel. I knew Angel was in her name. <laughs> Am I supposed to be doing something? Oh, Jesus! Alice, Alice, calm down, okay? Alice has seen better days. Oh, do I have to hide from her? Oh, that's cool. She she has two voices. She's like a high and a low voice. Oh, she was awesome. There's, I, I fucking love this game because I love the aesthetic of it because these types of old characters meant a lot back then But these days they just kind of look creepy So to capitalize on that to make a horror game the demon or the angel Let's go with the demon You know I'm very fond of the demons I want one of those. I want plushies from this game. I want the cardboard cutout as well. Probably just get it made. There's nothing wrong with dreaming. Wishing for the impossible is just human nature. That's how I got started. Just a pencil and a dream. We all want everything without even having to lift a finger. They say you just have to believe. Believe can make you succeed. Belief can make you rich. Belief can make you powerful. Why, with enough belief, you can even cheat death itself. Now, that <laughs> is a beautiful and positively silly thought. I don't like him. He's weird. Everyone here is creepy. Except Sean Flynn, of course. And yeah, they didn't spell Sean the same way. It's just kind of like a little... A little nod. Train trouble. Man, I remember an old Mickey Mouse cartoon with a train in it. And it freaked me out. I'm Alice Angel. Oh shit, there's a hidey closet there. Oh, she's gonna show up, isn't she? Oh, Boris. Jesus, Boris. Oh, you scared me to death. Don't 
I suppose you found anything we can use to protect ourselves with. This will do. Thank you. Thanks, Boris. Fuck you, Bendy. Oh god, what happened in here? <laughs> I like you, Boris. You're cute, but you, the way you follow along behind me and say nothing is getting kind of creepy. He went that way, so maybe that's the way I'm supposed to go. I just want to look around for a little bit. I'm Alice Angel. Also, because I, because I did shows recently, I'm trying to <laughs> restore my voice so I'm not like screaming at things as much as I usually did. So, if you're wondering why I'm more quiet than normal, I better get over time for this. Looks like to open this, we're gonna need to throw two levers at once. You get this one. I'll find the other. You got this one, buddy. That's my boy, B man. I'll get the other one. That's half a mile away. Bye, Boris. The Butcher Gang. Oh, they're fucking cool. Look at this guy. Presented in silly vision. <laughs> the fuck? Ah, ah, ah. What is that? Boris! Oh, Boris is scared of it. Okay, you know what? Fuck you. Fuck you. Ow! Bash his fucking face in. Fucking creep. I did it, Boris! We're safe! Flip the switch! Oh, God. Can I open this yet? No. Okay. Man, everything was going all nice and calm, and now I'm all tense. Oh, wait. Oh, God. Game glitched. I'm gonna just drink some bacon soup and give me back the health that I lack. Hell in a handbasket. Penny and Boris go to hell in a handbasket. That's cool. Level K. Level K. No. Oh. I'm Alice Angel. The hell is this shit? What's it looking like, Boris? Talk to me, B man. We go in there? Okay, where are we- where are we- You're so interesting. So different. I have to say, I'm an instant fan. Looks like you've got a date with an angel. Ooh, Boris, I got a date! Not hearing any screams. Boris, scream! Gorge! Ah! <laughs> okay. Level number nine. Got it. I'm gonna just wait back here. Boris, you go. Wait, why is some of them called level K11, P914? Okay, but if you scare me, I can't be held responsible for how much of your face I bash in. Fuck. B-Man? Oh, you're there. Where are we going?
Good idea. She's quite a gal, our Alice Angel. Our Alice Angel! Why did he run? Why, why are you running? Boris, is there a reason to run? Be man Oh god, you're still here. Oh, fuck. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that's the other one that I thought was cool. That's the guy that I fought already. Having a bit of an identity crisis there, B-Man? Not gonna lie. This guy fucked up. It's not worth looking at, B-Man. Let's go. Oh, shit. Says she made me? Who would have thought? Me having lunch with Joey Giroux. Apparently times are tougher than I thought. For a moment there, I thought I'd be stuck with the check. But I gotta say, he wasn't at all what I expected. Quite the charmer. He even called me Alice. I liked it. I liked it. He called me Alice and I liked it. Okay, hey, that's opening, but I can go this way, and I want to know what's over here. There's nothing over here. I didn't want to go this way anyway. This fucking weirdo. What the fuck? You're creepy as all hell. Don't come alive now. Are you torturing that poor man? Now we come to the question. Do I kill you? Do I tear you apart and my heart still light? The choices of the beautiful are unbearable. How's a girl to choose? <laughs> Take this little freak, for instance. He crawled in here, trailing his tainted ink to my door. It could have touched me. It could have pulled me back. Do you know what it's like? Living in the dark puddles? It's a buzzing, screaming well of voices. Bits of your mind swimming like, like fish in a bowl. The first time I was born from its inky womb, I was a wiggling, pussing, shapeless slug. The second time, well, it made me an angel. I will not let the demon touch me again. I'm so close now. So almost perfect. <sighs> yes, I will spare you. For now. Better yet. I'll even let you ascend and leave this place. If you will do a few easy, weensy little favors for me. What's that? Return to the lift, my little errand boy. We have work to do. Okay. Not a fan of this. Something's gonna come alive here. Boris? Where'd you go, B man? Boris? Oh, he's in the elevator. Okay. I'll make this simple. Look for valve pads. Turn the little wheels. Then bring me their power cord. Please don't make me regret sparing you. I can always use 
always change my mind. Ah, oh, what? Take the plunger. God damn it! I don't want to be an errand boy. Collect four valve cores. Solve the valve panels. I don't know what they are. There are so few rules to our world now. So little truths. But there is one rule we all know and respect down here. Beware the evil demon. Time. Stay out in the open for too long and he will find you. For if you see him, you'd better hide. If you don't, well... Now, let us begin our work. Oh, shit. What, what, what the fuck? That was just out of nowhere. Go away. Go away, you little demon bitch. Okay, that wasn't so bad. <laughs> just, no. Nah, nah. I don't like the Pac-Man eyes. Hell. I don't have the I don't have the crowbar thingy anymore. The pipe wrench. <gasps> okay, I'm okay. I'm still alive. I'm doing good. What the hell do these valve thingies look like? Turn the little wheels is what she said. Oh fucking Jesus. Okay, hup, and uh, hup, hup, nice. Okay, you guys aren't that scary. You kind of just pop up out of nowhere and don't really make sound. Where the fuck am I? So many directions to go now, I'm not sure which one I should face first. Well, here's one of the valves right here, but I can't crouch. Okay, maybe not not that way first. Let's let's go in this one. This one seems important. Oh god. I don't want to work here anymore. Yeah, I wouldn't either if I were you. I don't want to get killed by anything neither. Oh fucking Jesus! Now you're just coming out of the walls! That's unfair! Fucking creepy little weirdo. Oh, Christ. Okay, they just vanished. Okay. Hi! How's it going? You're not making any sound, which is fucking creepy. Am I able to beat your head in again? Okay. 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 Let's how about we do this? How about we just run away? Just run away. I don't know what that did, but... Okay. Huh. Nice! Okay! Well, I'm gonna leave this part of Bendy and the Ink Machine here. Normally, I just do these all in one, but this chapter seems like it's a bit longer than the other ones, and I... I don't want to just pile it all into one, because I might go on for a while. But, th this is really cool so far. I like it, and I'm curious to see what the hell is going on. But, we'll get back into that next time. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, Punch the like button in the face like a boss and high fives all around. Whoosh, whoosh. Well, thank you guys. I will see all you dudes. Watch me out.